Hey guys, welcome to my last video on staying healthy. In this video, we're going to talk about how to incorporate learning about staying healthy in each of your learning centers in your classroom. But these ideas can easily be incorporated into activities you do at home as well with your kids. Before we go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this as they come out. Let's go! Our first center we're going to talk about is the home center. In the home center, I would put different types of occupation clothes like dentists, doctors, and maybe some workout equipment to help the children learn how those jobs help us stay healthy. I would also find as many fruits and vegetables in plastic food as you can and put those into your home center. Maybe take out the foods that's not as healthy for just that week. If you can, put some dish rags and some dishes into the sink to let them practice using the dish rags to clean up the dishes. And maybe even some pillows and blankets if you wanna talk about how sleep keeps us healthy. For your block center, if you have some empty tissue boxes, you can put a bunch of these in your block center to let them build different things with the tissue boxes. If you have plastic fruit, you can do an activity where you practice stacking the fruit and vegetables. This is actually really hard to do, but they might enjoy the challenge of trying to get them to stay on top of each other. And lastly, you can encourage them to build a sink in the block center using the blocks that you already have in the center and let them practice washing their hands. For the writing center, I made a very easy worksheet on PowerPoint. I just used the things that were already in PowerPoint to make this simple worksheet. All the children do with this worksheet is cross out the germs and circle the soap. This also works on fine motor skills. Okay, my next idea is to make a face. I just made this face real quick with PowerPoint, but you can also probably find a lot of faces online that you could print off. And then have the children talk about teeth when you're talking about keeping your teeth clean. This is fun because each picture is going to look completely different. Next, go ahead and cut out some healthy and non-healthy food from a cooking magazine or print out pictures and glue them to a sheet of paper. You can have the children glue them or you can go ahead and have them pre-glued. Then have the children circle the healthy food. Look throughout the paper and find the foods that it is good to eat. If you have some plastic fruits and vegetables, you can also do a color sort. Look at the vegetables and fruits you have and then cut out pieces of paper that match the colors of those fruits and vegetables and have the children sort them by color. And lastly, if you have a squeeze ball, or a stress ball, you could throw those in the writing center because that will help strengthen those pre-writing skill muscles, but also you can talk about how it is finger exercises. For your reading center, all you need are some yoga mats, some books on staying healthy, and then maybe some pillows as well. They can use the yoga mats and pillows to read on, and you can talk about why we use yoga mats or exercise mats and how it keeps us healthy. So talking about the Reading Center, I wanted to show you some books that I had that you might be able to find at your library that would go really well with this unit on staying healthy. Okay, so the first one I have is a very fun interactive book called Let's Cook. Okay, the fun thing about this book is when you open it up, there's interactive things that you can do in the book including taking out the food, placing it in toasters or cooking. Most of the food in this book is going to be healthy food that is good for the kids to be looking at. Next, I have a book that I mentioned in another video. This one is called Fast Food. Now, I mentioned this in the transportation video, but it's also good for this unit because everything that is made in this book is made out of fruits and vegetables, so healthy foods. Next, I have a set of books. If you can find this set of books, the Just Be Healthy series, you're going to find a gold mine of different types of staying healthy books. These talk about being clean, being a healthy eater, exercising, sleeping, why sleep is good for you, going to the dentist, and the Food Pyramid. So these are great books, either for you to read or for them to flip through in the Reading Center. 
The next books I want to show you is also another series, if you can find them. These are the Pebble Plus series on staying healthy. Now these are made by Capstone Press and they talk about being active, but then they also talk about each of the food groups. The grains, the milk group, the meat and beans group, the vegetable group, and the fruit group. So these are great books that you could put in your reading center or just to read with your students. They're not full of words, so they're great for preschoolers. Very simple. Those are my book ideas that I have, although if you go to the library, there are going to be tons of great options for staying healthy, eating right, exercising, going to the dentist, anything you can think of that goes along with that staying healthy theme that you could put in your reading center. Do you guys have any good book suggestions for staying healthy? Put them in the comments if you do. And last but not least, the Sensory Center, one of the most fun centers in your classroom. For this center, I would get a water tub and put maybe some water and a little bit of soap in there, throw some animals in there and let them wash the animals, but you could also do it with food. If you have some plastic foods, you can put it in there and talk about how important it is to wash our food before we eat it. Another idea would be to let them play with tissues. Either give them a box that they can use or preset out some tissues if you don't want them to go through a whole box. But let them play with tissues. Maybe put them in your sensory table and let them tear them. Anything you can think of that would be fun for them to do with tissues. Okay guys, those are my ideas on how to use your learning centers to teach about staying healthy. If you have any other great ideas, please throw them in the comments. I would love to know what they are. Thanks for watching this video. If you got some great ideas, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And next month, I will be back with a new theme. So stay tuned. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Can you guys hear that airplane above me? Yeah.